Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. As you see here, I have a um, a review of the uh, Brunzel Design Aqua Whale or the watercolor pencils. Um, I've done a review quite a while back of their color pencils uh, and their pastel pencils. Now the design range is Brunzel's kind of like artist quality uh, pencils, uh, if you like. And within this design range, they have, like I say, the color pencils, the pastel pencils, the aqua well pencils. They also have a small set of 12 uh, graphite pencils. And then they have another 12 set of what they call specialities. A lot of other companies call that their uh, sketch set. Uh, and what it comprises of is like uh, a couple of graphite pencils, charcoal, uh you normally get one or two pastel pencils in there. They're normally like sanguine and something else, maybe like a white pastel pencil uh, and a few other bits and bobs like uh, paper stump. Um, the only set that I haven't reviewed is the, the graphite and the, the special set and I will get around to doing those as soon as I can buy them. But right now, uh, this is the... The Aqua Well set that I'm going to review for you. So this, in term, uh, in terms of their like their coloured pencils, if you like, uh, this is the last in the range that I've reviewed. Now I have reviewed Brun a lot of other pencils and stuff like that from Brunzel, and I actually think, to be quite honest with you, um, Brunzel don't get um, enough recognition. Really, um, certainly here within within the colour pencil community, people tend to go for uh, what better known names, but in actual fact, uh, especially with the the Brunzel design coloured pencils and their pastel pencils, I was really impressed with those. Um, I just don't think they get a a fair crack of the whip, really, uh, so to speak. But that's obviously personal choice. That's down to uh, everybody's own. You know, sometimes you want to stick the, with a name that you know you know really well. Any case, let's get on with this. So, first things first, we take this sleeve off. Let me switch this round. Um, I will be doing, when I'm talking later on in the video, I'll be doing, uh, uh, showing you a speed drawing type thing of the swatching that I've done, like doing these pencils dry and then doing activating them with water. Uh, I've not done that before, but I thought maybe it might just help, because normally I just show you the, 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 um, the swatches, but... Sometimes it, it helps you to see the the, the uh, pigment being activated, that type of thing. Okay, so on the back of this, this is just a piece of cardboard. On the back, you've got your color swatch. Um, and pigment names are on here as well. Uh, and there's numbers on here, which the numbers are on the barrel, but I'll get to that in a second. Let me move that to the side. Now... Something that can't go without being mentioned is the um, packaging that the design range, all of the design range come in. They come in this, um, in actual fact, to, to call this packaging is a little bit disingenuous because, um, as you can see here, the, this isn't just packaging, this is storage. And it's it's like really sturdy storage. Um, for the pencils if we look at the the individual drawers um, inside each individual drawer there is laid some foam now that's glued into the drawer so you can't lift that out uh, and each pencil has its own slot and sits in place there so these pencils aren't knocking about or anything like that in the drawer they're well protected and when you have all the sets say like you the, the color pencil the graphite and the or sorry the pastel and the aqua well when you have them stacked up like i have here you can see how how nice it looks it's very aesthetically pleasing sat on your on your desk like that um so the the biggest problem i had with the, the the color pencils and the pastel pencils is the fact that the largest set in this range and the other ranges is 48. now i think if for a company to be calling these their artist group pencils um i personally think that at the very least 72 should be the cutoff um i think 48 is a little bit low especially for the color pencils 
I think with pastel pencils and watercolor pencils you can maybe get away a lot easier with a 48 set because you can mix the colors better and what have you but I, I definitely think for uh, for an artist quality set I think 48 is too low so in terms of the sets that are available you get a 12 24 48 and of course the pencils are open stock as well now like I say 48 is the biggest set but also the Brunzel, there's actually 50 colors in all three sets so the pastel the color and this the other two colors um i believe are the metallic gold and silver which is really i personally think that's a good um a good way that they do it i know from my own personal experience i very rarely use the metallic pencils that you get in sets um unless that's the type of look you're going for like with the the Dermot metallic range and some other brands as well have their own metallic sets but the 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 two or three that you get inside the sets i very rarely use them and i think brunzel's done a really good thing here and just said right okay they're there if you want them if you do want them you only have to buy them open stock no big deal um so like i say this is the 48 set and within this 48 set now i i think it's the same for the 12 set and the 24 set um i'll have this over on the the written review i'll double check it um, you do get a, a little paintbrush here now to be quite honest with you this is a, a number three round and it's not really up to much uh, you can't really get an awful lot done with it however having said that it is nice to have um, if you're buying a, a, a water soluble set of pencils that you have a little brush in there that you can just get cracking with uh, immediately um, and this little brush certainly does give you that ability to to do limited amounts of painting and stuff like that with with the brush um, if you take a look here as well um, within this 48 set I did have one issue with one of the red pencils uh, 31 here which is the uh, the vermilion it's actually one of the nicer colors in the set it's really deep dark red it's beautiful uh it doesn't i'm like in my opinion a vermilion is more like an orange red it doesn't really come across like that uh as you'll see in the swatch it's uh much deeper and darker than a traditional vermilion nevertheless if you can see here from the core um this core is shattered all the way through and it's just impossible to sharpen and use now all color pencil artists come across this one time or another and i think it's just par for the course if you're a color pencil artist you're going to get one or two pencils in your lifetime maybe more that are in this situation and it's not anything detrimental towards the company it's just one of those things perhaps maybe the pigment uh the binders weren't bound correctly in this particular line i don't know but yeah uh, it is what it is it's just a shame that I personally think that this 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 particular color that it's happened to you is one of the nicer colors. So if you take if we're looking at the the swatch here and the colors that's in this set, um, the first so I've I've done the swatch dry first of all, um, so you can see what the colors look like dry. Now I've tried these pencils on a few different uh, watercolor papers. The first three colors there, th they were kind of washed out as soon as the um the water hit them sometimes that happens with um water soluble pencils as soon as the as soon as you activate them with water they look okay dry as soon as you activate them they, it's almost like the pigment just disappears that only really happened here with the but maybe about four or five of the pigments in this set um a couple of the other colors were, were t more towards the um the the gray the gray scale set and and the lighter grays at that, um, but once I did activate some of the pigments, um, you could see the lines underneath the of so therefore, that's not always a good sign because that means that the the pigment isn't really um, is, isn't activating well with the water and you you still have that line th those lines those pencil lines underneath like in this case here this fifty um and this number 40 here as well you can still see the lines 
under there. It's not the end of the world. There was only a few pigments in, in this set where that happened to. And that could have also probably been, I have to be honest here, uh, it could possibly have been maybe I was too heavy handed when I was putting the dry application down. So there is that to take into consideration. Um, like I say, I, th I did try them on different papers and I'm going to show you them uh, a little bit further on into the review and let you know. What I will say is I've done a speed drawing with these pencils and I've done it on a watercolour pad which I'll get into in a different review because I'll review that pad it was a netter pad um, but it was high quality watercolour paper and the first night that I was doing the speed drawing I really couldn't take to these pencils I was really dis quite disappointed about it actually because um, of my experience with the other pencils but nevertheless I came down in the morning I thought you know what I'm going to give it another shot I tried a few different papers and it must have been just my mood, the way I was on the night that I did it, it just wasn't in the right frame of mind. Um, but everything was working well the, the next morning when I came down. So let's take a look at the, the actual pencils themselves. So as you can see here, now the, the, the core of the pencil is a 3.8 millimeter core and it's a um, 7.6 uh, 7 millimeter barrel so quite a, an average size barrel uh, along it's kind of um, wood grain for the most part of the barrel then they have this where it's um, the company name is printed in blue then it has uh, design 8835 which corresponds to this being a pencil from the design range and then we have this kind of like this bluey gray color here now with the colored pencils and the pastel pencils and the graphite and the specialist they all have their own unique colors which just help you to visually see the difference between a colored pencil the watercolor pencil and the pastel pencils it's just their way of uh, helping brand it and it actually says aqua well on there as well then we have the pigment number on the very end here and the pigment identifier. It's about an inch long. Um, there's no pigment name on the barrel whatsoever, just the number. But you do have the pigment name on the back of the box. And of course, you can go across to their website and take the pigment names off the website. Uh, on the opposite side of here, we don't really have anything else other than the barcode. And then Holland, which is where the company is from. Uh, and that's it. So, and this is a view of the, the pencil sharpened. I had no problem with, with the exception of that one pencil, sharpening the pencil. So that lets me know that the quality of the wood is good quality wood. Uh, and that the, the actual packaging and stuff like that, the way that the pencils are held, d does prevent, for the most part, the, 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 the core of the pencil shattering. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to show you... Um, some of the the pigments here i know i know you could see the uh swatch being done there but i'm just going to show you as well oh sorry about that guys uh, i'm just going to show you some of the pigments here on this um dealer and rowney and this is a um 140 rough green paper so plenty of tooth on this paper let me just take it out here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay down a few colors here basically the the mixing colors that I normally use just let me move the lights over here so this is the 51 blue it's kind of like a, a nice sky blue uh, I'm not really using a lot of pressure there but you can see that the the application of pigment is really nice just let me zoom in uh, you can see obviously the texture of the paper coming through there it's uh, a nice rough green um, this is the 33 red uh, again not a lot of pressure here
there we go and in, in terms of mixing i mean like i'm not i'm not going to show you any mixing or anything like that because watercolor pencils by their very nature mix and blend really really well um i have a review of a, a palette that i purchased uh for watercolor pencils or water soluble pencils and crayons which uh i'll link down below you can go across take a look at that review and uh it's a it's a device or a tool sorry should i say that i never ever um without it's this uh karen dash thing i'm sure a lot of people have heard me talk about it um but like i say i'll have the links down below and then we have this um 60 green again not a lot of pressure just put a few layers down here and then we'll activate them with water and you'll get to see the um, the intensity of the of the pigments Like I said, when I was doing my tests, I did try them on hot pressed water, uh, or sorry, watercolor paper, um, a few other different types of brands and what have you of um, watercolor paper, and for the most part, it it they reacted really well. That first night that I was using them, I don't know what what was wrong with me. Uh, I just couldn't take to them, and I started getting a little bit downhearted because. Uh, I was really looking forward to reviewing them based on the experience I had with the, their, their coloured pencils and their pastel pencils. But when it came down in the morning, everything was different. Uh, here we go with the this lemon colour. Um, works really well here. And you can see as well, because um, I've not put a lot of pressure on the paper or the pencils you can see here that there is no pencil uh, lines underneath now that also probably has a lot to do with the paper as well with it being this rough grain paper but um i mentioned during the swatching that there was pencil lines underneath uh but i i, I also mentioned that that might have been down to uh, a heavy hand on my part so there you go you can see there that those three colors have come up really nice. Um, I mean, it, don't forget, I am... What, one, one thing that's always crossed my mind is whether, uh, as far as the pricing is concerned, I will have a list of the pricing over in the, the written review. As far as the pricing is concerned, I, I wonder how much of the money that you spend on these is incorporated into the the packaging as opposed to the quality of the pencils the pricing is really reasonable given what you get but um i i just personally wonder if the packaging was a 10 would they be would they be less or would they be um the same price um i'm never i'm never going to get an answer from bronzeal on that question either i have asked a couple of times but i don't really get a response from bronzeal they're really difficult to uh, get told off and to get them to respond to as well now in terms of light fast i couldn't find any information about light fast this is a problem that i had with the the color pencils and the pastel pencils uh, i've i've sent lots of emails to uh bronzeal about this and they just tell me that they are very light fast now they're not the only brand to do this. A lot of brands say that their pencils are very light fast or light fast, but they don't give you specifics in terms of whether they are done on the blue wool scale or whether they are done on the um, ASTM or ATSM. I forget the abbreviation. Um, so, so it's really hard to tell. Um, and so f as far as I'm concerned, there is no specific light fast information on he on these which again is a little bit problematic if the company are uh selling them as artist grade in in terms of using the pencils and the enjoyment and all the rest of it you can see the the speed drawing that are done the artwork isn't the greatest i'm not the best with watercolor pencils i have to admit that but the um 
the quality of the pencils and stuff like that is is reasonable. I wouldn't say it's one hundred percent artist grade. When you look at other artist grade pencils, I wouldn't say it was like right up there with a lot of them. I would I personally would say that it's more student grade. These ones here, in any case, the Acro Well pencils, um, and that that's kind of like my take on on what these are. They reacted well on nearly all the papers that I tried. The pigment strength is is decent, really, really decent, with the exception of one or two, uh, which is to be expected. Um, and that is really about it. So I would just love to see Brunzel come out with a, a larger set, like a 72 set. I think they're really worth um, expanding the set. I enjoyed using them that much that I think that they're really worth expanding up to a 72 set. Same with the co their colour pencils and their pastel pencils as well. Anyway guys, that's it. I've rambled on enough about these pencils. Thank you so much for watching this review. Uh, I hope to see you all again soon and please stay at home, stay safe with this COVID-19 thing getting on. Uh, I really hope everybody is safe and well and I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Thanks. Bye.